Welcome back to the channels. It is a Tuesday morning, lunchtime, and I'm on an errand. Thought I'd take you guys with me. I'm on my wife's monkey right now with the blinker running. But we are going into Round Rock. What is it Central Texas? Harley Davidson and I have a part there on order. It's finally arrived after about two weeks. And you guys know I take out all the bikes all the time. It is the monkey's turn. Well, the thing about the monkey, it is just as fast, if not faster, to take the monkey this way into Round Rock as it is a car. I was hoping to get out here before uh, lunch traffic, but it doesn't look like I'm going to make it. See, I easily keep up with traffic. I could probably do this on the ruckus too, but I've already taken the ruckus to the Harley dealership, and it's the monkey's turn. Lights are terrible today. Come on, dude, get out of my way. That was close. Not gonna yell at him, not mad at him. A little scary, but uh, you know, you gotta be prepared for that. Everybody's moving pretty good. That's nice. I almost took my Harley. You know that got it. Like, almost hit me, you know. My Harley is loud. I have to wear earplugs. You know, even idling. I wear, try to wear earplugs all the time, even on this bike, because, you know, there's no wind protection. But if I'd had louder pipes, I don't know if that guy would have pulled over into my lane or not. He obviously didn't see me. And, you know, that, that could have happened if I was driving a car, too. I'm not saying I'm at fault or that guy was at fault. It just, you know, stuff like that happens. It's just a little bit more, well, a lot more devastating if you happen to be on a motorcycle. But I've seen video of people getting mad when they're riding their bike and almost get hit, you know, and instead of like just moving over, they'll kick the driver's car and I want to start a fight with a car, which is, you know, kind of stupid. Ooh, a lot of cops today, I guess, coming out, change the shift. Yeah, we're in a, a motorcycle dealership parking lot. Take a look at the bikes while we're here. 
if you ever get a chance to do a test ride at Harley, oh my God, take it. It's crazy fun. Central Texas Harley, uh, they're a good dealership. They treat you good. I mean, what they did, I had to, when I had my 25,000 mile maintenance, they found a crack in my tail light. And you know what? I always inspect my bikes before I go out. And I would not have seen it. I didn't see it. It's like where one piece of plastic of one color met another piece. There was a crack along that line and it could leak water. And they found it. And you can't find something like that unless, you know, you are going through your inspection with a fine tooth comb. So I have nothing bad to say about Harley, their service department parts department sales hey guys if you've been here before you might want to consider subscribing and if you've got this far please give me a thumbs up it really helps the channel and I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next video Bye.